Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Samuel Shah. In this video, I'll be talking about Elasticsearch Cache. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a small graph first, which will blow your mind in terms of performance boost. And then we'll uh, talk more about that. Okay. So over here, the blue line represents the, 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 the time it took uh, without caching. And the orange line is, is essentially time it took with caching. Uh, I set up a uh, shard level cache right uh, on Elasticsearch and an index level cache as well. Um, so after doing that, my search were literally 100 times more faster. Um, um, I'm not just saying 100 times, but I mean, if you multiply, uh, if, if I can take my pen here and I can start explaining you. Okay, so um, essentially I performed some JMeter test. How did I came to this graph? Is uh, First of all, I would like to explain you that. Um, essentially, I had an index where I uploaded about a couple of 40 to 50 million uh, data points, right? Um, what I did is essentially I set up a JMeter test, right? Uh, I, I took a query, right? And then essentially added a parameter which says request cache is equal to true. I'm doing a query level cache here. Uh, as you can see, um, for uh, then essentially I, I, I set up the number of threads as 100. I varied my ramp up time, which means uh, now going back to the graph, 0.2 means after every 0.2 seconds, a new user is coming. Uh, I, I performed the JMeter test with and without. I plotted the result on an Excel. Okay, then I did for 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.81. The results that I got are, are literally amazing. And uh, 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 yeah, so let me talk a little bit more about that. So over here, essentially for... Um, for 0.2 seconds, uh, I got the data back in 188 milliseconds uh, since the caching was enabled. Uh, without caching, it took around 20 seconds, right? So you can see if you multiply this number by 100, uh, approximately 100 times faster than my previous one. Um, then over here, when the ramp up time is 0.4, I took it took 125 milliseconds. Uh, over here, it took 5.4 seconds. For ramp up is 0 0.6, which means after every 0 0.6 seconds, a new user is hitting. It took 92 milliseconds and it took two seconds without caching. The results are extremely, extremely amazing. A uh, couple of snippets that might help you out is you can set up index level cache, right? You could do that. Um, then while querying your data, essentially, um, you can say request cache is equal to true, which means query level caching. Uh, you can clear all the cache as well. These are the snippets uh, for that as well, right? Uh, you can get the stats for the cache, like what's the total number of hits, what are the miss, rate, miss uh, miss, you can essentially grab all of that, right? Uh, so that's that. And then this article right here is an amazing article. Uh, I read this entire article. This essentially gives you a deep dive about everything uh, about caching in Elasticsearch. Query level cache, shard level cache, or, you know, when you click on a particular stuff, it would take you to the official documentation. You can read more. See, you can set, set this up, right? Um, as I said, there is a lot more here in the cache. I cannot cover everything. You can set up uh, by default, it uses 1% of JVM, right? You can increase that size as well. Uh, you can set up expiration time for filters and aggregation. There's a lot, lot more, right? But this is just I'm um, touching the tip of iceberg, right? But uh, I would leave down all the uh, reading article and resources in the description section below. So maybe you can check, the, check that out, right? So um, yeah, this is uh, about um, Elasticsearch Cache and this is a small graph that, that represents how, how much boost in performance you can get when it's done in the right way. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the small videos. And if you do, do enjoy the videos and concept, let me, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I would be very happy if you have any sort of questions as well. Please put your questions as well. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, guys. And I would see you guys in the upcoming next video.